Now, one of the interesting things that I ran across in the Samyut Nikaya was a, it was a section on loving kindness meditation that had to do with the factors of enlightenment. And this particular sutta was a real revelation to me because it starts talking about practicing loving kindness in the fourth jhana. Now the reason that it's a revelation to me was because I had always heard and definitely believed that loving kindness can only take you to the third jhana. But there it is in the sutta talking about it being in the fourth jhana. And it's talking about the Brahma Viharas. Now I was always told that the Brahma Viharas, that is, loving kindness, compassion, sympathetic joy, or altruistic joy, and equanimity. The compassion only goes to the third jhana, the joy goes to the third jhana, equanimity goes to the fourth jhana. But when I was reading this sutta, I was truly amazed because it says loving kindness goes to the fourth jhana, equanimity goes to the realm of infinite space, the fifth jhana, the first arupa jhana, joy goes to the realm of infinite consciousness, and equanimity goes to the realm of nothingness. And it goes, the, the practice that I'm actually teaching you when you're practicing loving kindness is not just loving kindness. It is the practice of the Brahma Viharas. And it's real interesting when these, these sort of things arise. 